Global warming is a big problem in the world because it is at an alarming point. And one of the triggers is the use of fossil fuel energy, including CO2 gas emissions from vehicles. One alternative to overcome this is through the use of environmentally friendly vehicles, such as electric vehicles, which, unlike fossil fueled vehicles, do not emit greenhouse gases. This technology will continue to grow in the future. The main component of an electric vehicle is the battery. Today's most commonly used battery is the lithium ion type. And one of the most crucial parts of the lithium ion battery is nickel. Indonesia is one of the biggest nickel producers in the world. The Energy and Mineral Resources Ministry has enforced an export ban on nickel ore. However, the nickel processing method that is widely used nowadays requires huge investment, high-risk processing, and results in less environmentally friendly residue. For this reason, HMI feels compelled to conduct development studies to find the most innovative, efficient, and environmentally friendly solutions with high recovery values. We call this process Step Temperature Acid Leach, or STAL. What are the stages of the STAL process? Let's take a closer look. The STAL process begins with the laterite ore processing stage, where STAL can process laterite ore from a wide range of deposits low-grade limonite, limonite and saprolite, which makes STAL very flexible. After going through the drying process at the initial stage, the laterite ore is fed into the mixing machine. It is then heated gradually, using step temperature. The acid reacts with the metal elements in the laterite ore. When the temperature begins to increase, the reaction of the metal with the acid is complete. When the temperature starts to get high, and is at its optimum point, iron, which is the largest element in laterite ore, and aluminium, decompose and release SO3 gas. So, it can be said that iron and aluminium do not consume acid. And that is why the Stahl process is more efficient. Simultaneously, the silica begins to break down, causing the SO3 gas to react with the nickel contained in it resulting in higher nickel recovery. That is why the Stahl process is so much more effective. Because the iron and aluminium decomposition process releases SO3, the resulting residue contains much less acid. So, the Stahl residue can be utilized in derivative products, such as iron ore and others. Additionally, Stahl technology does not require high investment for a high output because the Stahl smelter is a modular and scalable system. To increase output, other modules can be made without changing the initial module built and run earlier. Stahl is a technological innovation to recover nickel content more effectively and optimally with a more efficient and a more competitive investment and environmentally friendly process